Dublin. We're just here, just uh, worshiping here on Henry Street. And this is the truth of the gospel, that Jesus came and he died for you. And he cares about you and whatever you're going through right now, he's just calling out to you. Our Father in heaven calls us sons and daughters. We are sons and daughters of an almighty God. And that should fill you with so much hope because it means that your life means something, that you are worth something. And if you're thinking maybe your life isn't worth anything and some people maybe struggle with suicidal thoughts, but our Father in heaven calls you out. He calls you a son and a daughter. And he says you are worth it, so worth it that he would give his life to die on the cross for you pay your debt to pay your sin that's how worth it you were enough that he would give his own life up for you so be filled with hope today because there's a savior who loves you and he calls you just as you are he's not asking you to do anything right now he just wants you to come as you are and to just reach out as he's reaching out to you with his love
majesty. You don't forsake your sons. Thunders are kept under your shield, under your peace. You are you say you are Yahweh.
to the Lord on the earth. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. You're worthy. You're worthy. Jesus. You're worthy of our praise. And the sunshine and the rain. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy of the praise. You're worthy. You're worthy. 
Hello Dublin, we're out here today in the sunshine and the rain, just to let you know, Jesus loves you. The Bible says that God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so today, we're just out here for one reason, and that is to lift up Jesus Christ. And whether the sun is shining or whether it's raining, we're here to let you know Jesus Christ is real, His love is real, His mercy is real, and what He did for you on the cross was real. The Bible says that God so loved the world, and that includes you. Did you know that you were included in God's plan? Sometimes people ask the question, does anybody care? Does it matter whether I live or die? Well, it matters so much to God that He gave His Son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is the good news of the gospel. Jesus Christ lives. He is a risen Savior. Nobody loves you like Jesus. It's a beautiful thing in the midst of the struggle of life, in the ups and the downs, to remind yourself that no matter whether things are going your way or whether you're having a very difficult time, that there is a God who sees you, a God who knows you, a God who cares about you, and a God who proved His love by sending His Son, Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Do you have the light and the liberty that only Jesus Christ can bring? Because we're living in dark times. People are facing all sorts of trials and challenges. But Jesus Christ is real. His love is real. And He can change your life if you will call in His name. The Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, 33 years ago, I called on the name of Jesus. In the midst of despair and darkness and emptiness. You know, struggling with a sense of despair and the futility of life. And I called on that name and Jesus Christ saved me. You see, God paid your debts 2,000 years ago on the cross. But you must respond. And that's what the Bible says. I put before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life. You see, Jesus Christ can save you. Jesus Christ can break those chains of darkness. He can lift those burdens. He can set the captives free. Nobody loves you like Jesus. And that's why we're here today. The Bible says, if I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw all men unto me. And that's what we want to do. We want to just lift Jesus Christ up and let you know, no matter what the problem, no matter what the question, Jesus is the answer. There is no need He cannot make. Amen. There is no need He cannot meet. There is no chain He cannot break. There is no burden He cannot lift. There is no heart He cannot change. Amen. You may feel like you're beyond help. You may feel that, you know, you've gone so far. Nobody can help you or reach you. Jesus can. Jesus loves you. And He said, whoever comes to me, I will never turn him away. Hey, you know, what's the story, brother? Enoch is single, by the way. Um, <laughs> for God so loved the world. Jesus loves you. We're all nations, church. We're just out here today to lift up Jesus and to let you know there is a different way. There is a different way to the darkness and depravity that we see that characterizes our times. There is a different way. There is a love of a different kind that God demonstrated at the cross. When Jesus hung on that cross, He cried out, not for revenge, He cried out for mercy. Even though you don't know Him, even though you don't serve Him, He said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they do. Have you received the forgiveness that only Jesus Christ can bring? God bless you. Hope to see you Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, in the National Boxing Stadium. We are All Nations Church, and we're here to let you know Jesus loves you.
the bridge part and just just quickly or you're okay
majestic name fills the earth. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the Good afternoon, Dublin. Just want to let you know today, we have good news. Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, the Bible says that the time will come when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You see, the gospel is good news. It's good news because... The bad news is, firstly, we are sinners in need of a Savior, but this is why Jesus Christ came. God sent Jesus to save us from our sins, and that's why the Bible says His name will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us, and I don't know what's going on in your life today or where you're at, but I know this, the Lord loves you, and when you think about the love of Christ, It's unconditional. He loves you where you're at, no matter what you've done or where you've been or how you have failed. God's love and God's mercy and God's grace is extended towards you. You know, the Bible says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Because as surely as there is a beginning and so too there is an end. Every life... There's a day of birth and there's a day when you pass from this earth. You see, the Bible says that God has put eternity in our hearts. You know, all of us have some sense or knowledge of the fact that we have an eternal soul. Jesus said this, What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his own soul? You know, so many times people walk by and laugh or smile like you're crazy. But I think it's tragic that so many people never take time to contemplate eternity. And you might respond by saying, well, I have my religion. Religion will not save you from the fires of hell. 
Religion cannot save you, nor can your own goodness save you. Jesus said you must be born again. And this is the gospel message, is that Christ came and took our place on the cross, bearing our sin and shame so that we could be forgiven and so that we could be free. And so I'm not asking, are you religious? Are you a good person? I'm asking, do you know the living God? Have you found peace with God? Because the Bible says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one way to find true peace. There's only one way to find true and lasting peace. And that is through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. There's one way to heaven, and it's through Jesus Christ. Because only Jesus loved you enough to hang on a cross, bearing your sin and your shame. Have you called on the name of Jesus? Have you called on the name that is above every name? Have you been redeemed? Have you been delivered? Do you know the living God? You see, the gospel is good news. But the good news doesn't make sense unless you understand the bad news. And the bad news is this, is that we have an eternal soul and that we have fallen short of God's standard. We don't meet the mark. We are not good enough. We're not holy enough. We're not, we've all failed. We've all sinned. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. That may seem like an old-fashioned term, but this is the reality is we have sinned and we need a Savior. And the Bible says that, you know, it's appointed unto a man once to die and then the judgment. You, you're, not, you're not going to be reincarnated. You're not going to come back. You know, there, there isn't a purgatory. There isn't a second chance. We, we leave this earth and we go to our eternal home. There's a story in the Gospel of Luke about a rich man and Lazarus. And it says, you know, this rich man, you know, lived in wealth and, you know, lived his life and did nothing to help this other man. And it says... It says, the rich man died, and this is where the atheist puts a full stop. And yet the Bible puts a comma, because it doesn't end there. Death isn't the end, rather death is the beginning. It's the beginning of eternity. And so I want to ask you today to take a moment to contemplate eternity. Take a moment to ask yourself, where will I go when I die? Because Jesus said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? and lose his own soul. You have an eternal soul and you will spend eternity somewhere. You know, I've been doing this for over 30 years. I'm pretty confident that this stage there's many people who walked by and laughed or mocked or thought I was crazy are in eternity today. And that thought haunts me. It haunts me that there are people who died in their sins, people who could have been forgiven, people who could have been delivered, people who could have seen the light, so to speak, but instead chose to stay in darkness. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I'm not asking, do you have a religion? I'm asking, have you stepped out of the darkness into the light? Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Have you been redeemed? Do you have that assurance that heaven is your home and Jesus is your Lord? Because none of us are here forever. We're just passing through this life. And this is why the most urgent question you can ask yourself, the most urgent question that must be answered is where will you spend eternity? Because only the gospel answers the ultimate questions of life. That is why the Bible says that God so loved the world. The, the gospel isn't the message of condemnation. It's a, it's a message of love. It's a message of mercy. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you have everlasting life? Do you have that assurance that heaven is your home? Do you have peace with God? You see, the Bible says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one way to find true and lasting peace, and that is through Jesus Christ, 
the Prince of Peace. God bless you, darling. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Praise the Lord. As you walk by today, know this. Jesus loves you. He died for your sins. And if you will call on his name, you can be saved. You can be forgiven. You can be delivered. Your past can be wiped out and you can have a new beginning. The Bible says, Behold, I make all things new. Jesus Christ can make all things new in your life. We are All Nations Church. We meet every Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, in the National Boxing Stadium. We're fighting the good fight of faith. We love you and Jesus loves you. God bless you.
never lies. He's reaching out to you. He calls you a son and daughter. You're a son and daughter of the King.
God. We're out here to lift up the name of Jesus. You know, the Bible says that the name of Jesus is the name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, things on earth, and things under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We have a message for Dublin. We have a message for Ireland. And we have a message for the nations. Jesus Christ is Lord and He is coming back again. Are you ready to stand before the Son of Man? Because Jesus Christ is returning. Amen. Do you know Jesus? Do you know His love? Have you received His mercy? Have you called on His name? It's not enough to belong to a denomination or say you have your religion or say you're a good person. You might be good, but you're not good enough. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. That means that none of us are good enough on our own merits to go to heaven. And that's why Jesus said, you must be born again. That's what the Bible says. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Have you called on the name of Jesus? Because he can break those chains of darkness. He can set you free from your sin, from your addiction, from your dysfunction. He can take you out of darkness and bring you into his marvelous light. Because there is nobody like Jesus. Glory to God. He is the risen Savior. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the light of the world. He declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. You're not going to get to heaven because you're good. Glory to God. You're not going to get to heaven because you're religious. The Bible says you must repent of your sins and believe in the King. His name is Jesus. And he did not say, I am one of the ways. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Have you been redeemed? Have you been born again? not ashamed of the gospel because I believe that Jesus is alive and I believe the time will come when I stand before the king and you will stand before him too and that's what the Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord do you know Jesus as your Savior do you know him as your Lord have you surrendered your life to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords glory to Jesus that is the good news of the gospel. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Lord loves you and he proved his love for you by dying on a cross. He proved his love for you by being nailed to a tree, bearing your sin and bearing your shame so that you could be free. And this is why the Bible says that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. It is the greatest truth of all, the truth of God's undying, everlasting, unconditional love. Jesus loves you, just like the children's song goes. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock in the National Boxing Stadium, we gather to worship the King of Kings. And if you don't know who he is, his name is Jesus. You might say, I have my religion. Your religion won't save you. Your goodness won't save you. The Bible says all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. There is nothing more urgent. There is nothing more urgent than the state of your soul. Where will you spend eternity? Jesus said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Look at the world around you. It's becoming increasingly dark. It's becoming increasingly depraved. It's becoming increasingly confused. But Jesus came to show us a different way. And this is why the Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I don't know what you've done or where you've been, but I know this. God's grace is extended towards you. His grace is extended towards you, and He can change your life. You, you can try and turn over a new leaf, and you will fail. You can't change yourself, but Jesus can change you. That is why He said, whoever comes to me, I will never turn him away. I've seen Jesus Christ change the hardest hearts. People who are criminals, people who are involved.
involved in all courts, all kinds of darkness and depravity, but Jesus changed their lives. Because Jesus is not a religion. He's not an ideology. He is a risen Savior. And the Bible says He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And He lives today. And He can change your life today. He can cleanse you from your sins today. He can set you free from depression today. He can cleanse you. He can break those chains of darkness. He can lift those burdens. He can set the captives free. That is the good news of the gospel. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did 2,000 years ago, he can do today. If you will look to him, if you will trust in him, if you will surrender to him, if you will believe in him. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. There is nothing more important than your salvation. There is nothing more important than your eternal soul. be so blind I don't care if you mock I'm here because I care about your eternal soul because I know God cares about it and yet so many of you who walk by today you are blind you are blind to the reality that you will one day stand before the creator of heaven and earth you are blind to the fact that the grave is not the end it is the beginning it is the beginning of eternity and the Bible is clear there are only two eternal destinations heaven or hell where will you go when you die that is the question you must ask where will you go when you die where will you spend eternity will you go to heaven or will you go to hell and this is the tragedy so many people die and go to hell because they say I'm a good person or because they say I have a religion or because they say well you know I'll meet God on my terms no you'll meet God on his and there is only one way we can approach a holy God and that is through the blood that his son, his son Jesus Christ shed on the cross without the, rem the, without the shedding of blood there is no remission you see Jesus shed his blood on the cross to cleanse us from our sin even as he hung there on that cross taking his final breath he cried out father forgive them they do not know what they do and yet so many people are blind to eternity they are blind to the reality that they need a savior they are blind to the issue of eternity I put before you life and death blessing and cursing choose life choose Jesus he can save you he can set you free he can make you new that's the good news of the gospel that's why we're here we're not ashamed of Christ we believe he is real and we believe his love is real nobody loves you like Jesus because if you were the only person on this planet Jesus would have died for you he died for you Jesus died for you will you live for him he was not ashamed to hang naked before a world that mocked him the Bible says they spit on him and they mocked him and still he did not turn from the cross the Bible says for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross why because he could see that the price needed to be paid and he paid the price for your soul at the cross and that's what the Bible says looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith do you know Jesus as your Savior have you been saved have you been redeemed do you have peace with God can you say with certainty today if this was my last day on planet earth I would go to heaven if not you need to repent and give your life to Jesus Christ to repent simply means to turn it simply means to acknowledge I'm a sinner and I need a Savior glory to God and there is only one his name is Jesus and that's why Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life nobody comes to the Father but through me there's one way and it's through Jesus Christ Jesus hung on the cross in your place so that you could be forgiven and so that you could be free that is the good news of the gospel and I've seen the Lord over these last 30 years change life after life 
after life when they simply put their trust in Jesus Christ. We are all nations, church. We meet every Sunday morning in the National Boxing Stadium and we gather to worship the risen Savior. His name is Jesus. The Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, things on earth, and things under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The time will come when you bow your knee to Jesus Christ. If not in this life, then in the next. Sadly, in the next life, it will be too late because you will be consigned to an eternal hell. The Bible is clear there's only two eternal destinies, heaven or hell. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing else can cleanse us from our sin. Nothing else can, can save us from an eternal hell. Nothing else can break the chains of darkness and set the captives free. The name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. It is the name above every name. At that name, demons flee. At that name, chains are broken. At that name, hallelujah, hearts are says he has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his own dear son if you will call on Jesus he will set you free from darkness he will set you free from addiction he will set you free from dysfunction he will cleanse you from your sins he will save your soul he did it 2,000 years ago on the cross but you must respond and say yes to Jesus Christ I hope to see you tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock in the National Boxing Stadium. We're fighting the good fight of faith. And we pray for this city today, Lord. We pray for a great awakening. We pray you're going to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. We pray, Lord God, you're going to bring a great awakening to this city and to this nation and to our generation. Because people, Jesus Christ is coming back. Are you ready to stand before your creator? The book of Amos says, prepare to meet your God. Prepare to meet your God. Are you ready to stand before the God who made you? Are you ready to stand before the God who put a fingerprint on your finger? The God who gave you an eternal soul? There's only one way we can stand before the Lord, and that is through the blood. That's why Jesus said you must be born again. Have you been born again? Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Have you been redeemed? Have you called on that wonderful name? The wonderful name of Jesus. God bless you all. Amen. Let's go, one, two, three, come on.
everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. 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 Let everything that everything that has breath. That has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Passa 